Hey, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Amazon Fire Stick, and there's a shortcut feature that a lot of people don't know about, whether you're a beginner user or an advanced user. A lot of people don't use this feature, and it's an important one, so we're gonna talk about that in today's video. It's gonna be a quick video. Stay tuned. All right, got you close on the screen here. Now, this is gonna be a quick, quick video, but this is extremely important, and I'll share with you why in this video, why this shortcut is so important. So. If you look at the home screen on your Amazon Fire Stick, you'll see where I'm highlighted over right now, home. Well, there's a button on your remote control that also looks like that home. What I need you to do is go ahead and press and hold that button down for a few seconds, and I'll do that right now, and this shortcut menu will pull up. Now, I know a lot of people know about this shortcut feature, and this is what today's video is all about, but if you don't, even if you've used the Fire Stick for years, you may not know about this shortcut feature. It's very important. Now, there's five categories to this, profiles, apps, sleep, mirroring, and settings. We'll talk about each of these. It's really quick and really easy to get to each of these with this shortcut menu. Again, all you have to do is hold down that home button for a few seconds and this pops up. If you just click the home, it's gonna to go to your home screen, but again, you hold it down for a few seconds and this will pop up. Now, profiles is nice, especially if you've got multiple people in your home or you've got children where you can just switch between. You can set up a child profile for your kids so they can only access what you tell them they can access, which is really, really nice, especially in family rooms or communal areas. Uh, another one right here, so that's the profile section. The second one is apps. Now this is a shortcut, quick way to get to your apps library. So this is really nice if you just quickly wanna get to your Disney Plus, your HBO Go, whatever app you wanna get to really, really fast, you can do it right here just again by holding down that home button for just a few seconds and it takes you right to that shortcut button. Let's go back home here and do it again. Hold down the button, a couple seconds, here you go. I'm gonna get to sleep last, because this is the most important thing and a lot of people don't utilize this feature. So I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Now mirroring right here. Now this is nice if you wanna mirror something from a phone or a tablet or your computer. It's a fantastic feature, you just click it, it'll open this up and then you can access it and go ahead and mirror anything that you want to mirror to it. It's great if you wanna show your family photos to people, you wanna play a movie off of your tablet that you may have downloaded. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. You can play games, those games that you have on your phones, you can actually play it on your big screen TV and your phone would just be the remote for it. And I've done that on racing games quite often. I've shared it on some of my other videos. So it's kind of a cool feature, the screen mirroring. So I'll go ahead and get out of that. And that just takes a couple seconds to exit the screen mirroring. And then I'll go ahead and hold it down again for a couple seconds, get back to that menu and you've got your settings. So this is a nice quick way to get to your settings and I have a lot of videos on how to set up your Fire Stick properly within the settings section right here and you can access it right here, including everything from unlocking your Fire Stick and your developer options. If you do not have the ability to turn this on right here, uh, you can go to your about section and you can go into developer mode that way and some fire sticks you have to do that. Really quick and really easy to do. But this is how you get to settings really fast and you can update your fire stick here. You can check out your controllers and Bluetooth devices if you're having issues with your, your remote or you get a new remote. There's a lot of things. You got your live TV section, which is something I did a video on recently. It's a really cool section. You definitely wanna check that video out. But you can access all of that right there in your settings. Obviously you can go to the gear on here, but it's nice to be able to just get to it right off the bat. Now the most important thing about this shortcut menu is sleep. You do need to put your fire stick to sleep every time you're done with it. And I bet you 95 or more percent of the people out there do not turn off or put their fire stick to sleep at the end of the night. And I'll tell you, when you're done using it, Hold that button for a few seconds, click sleep, no problem. If you don't do that, what happens is these apps are continuously running in the background and using up your resources. Your Fire Stick never turns off. You think you turn your TV off, your Fire Stick turns off, that's not true. It continues to run, so you have to click sleep. So go ahead and put your Fire Stick to sleep every time you're done with your Fire Stick. To, to wake it back up, you turn your TV back on and just hit the select button on your remote, that little center button in the middle of the circle. You click that, it'll wake right back up. Let me do it really quick so I can show you what it looks like. You just click on it to go ahead and put it to sleep. Now it's to sleep. Now I literally, there's nothing on my screen. I can leave and not worry about wasting resources, not a adding additional cash and all these things that fill up your storage. 
none of that. It won't slow down your network. I just hit the select button, I woke it right back up. So it's important to do that little sleep feature. I also recommend restarting your Fire Stick, uh, which you can do here. I'll just show you really fast. You wanna do this on a regular basis as well. You're just gonna to go to settings right here, then you're gonna to go to My Fire TV, then you're gonna click restart. Suggest you do this at least once every couple days. As long as you put your Fire Stick to sleep, every day you're you're fine but restarting it once in a while just makes it run a little bit better especially if it starts to slow down maybe you forgot to put it to sleep if you forget for a couple days just do a quick restart no problem you're not resetting it to a factory you're just restarting it just like you would a computer you don't lose anything reset you would lose everything so don't do that unless you absolutely have to but definitely put it to sleep and restart it you can do that right here in settings again all i did to get to that menu so fast was I just held down my uh, home button for a couple seconds and there I was. So it's a great little shortcut and I wanted to share this with you and I know it's a quick video, but I just wanted to quickly show you all of these features right here that you can get to really, really fast with your remote control. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a really quick one. It's a simple shortcut menu feature of the Fire Stick that so many people don't know about. Even some advanced users that are subscribers to mine for years don't know about this feature. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Click that like button down below if you like this video. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.